Carlos. Carlos, you remember the back fist video that I did? I thought that it's a good technique, like opening one, and you can do it to set it up bigger stuff and better stuff, but it would never knock you up, knock a person down. I was telling Carlos and don't take me in the wrong way. Before, when I was younger, I used to compete with people to see who had the fastest back fist, and I always won because I practice this technique a lot. Uh, but the actual application is this one. Remember, as an opening technique to do better stuff. Okay, this is the standard back fist I use. Do the, the exercise. Okay, again. Okay, but how you take that into combat? So let's say you're here. What I like to do is I slap the hand and they go forward. Again, slap, punch. Let me do it the same motion. Slap, back fist, and cross. You can also do it this way. Hit it here and do the back fist to the eye. Be like. And then a punch. But what I like to do the most is you're fighting, push here, here, and punch. This is a really, really good application. You can even do it from the back hand. If you're bored, you can do combination one, combination two, combination three, combination four. You can do it from here to the nose. You can do it here to the ear. But it's a really good technique. Another combination that you can do with the back fist is you put it down and then up. Or you can throw a jab and up. Those are the combinations I like the most. Uh, any questions? Okay. Jab, jab, slap. Okay. Jab, jab, slap, elbow. That's always going to work. Another thing that you can also do is this one. How to get your opponent? Your tricep. You can hit the tricep. You can hit the tricep. Are you trying to do it with that? That's gonna start dominating your opponent. It's the same as a low kick to the thigh. So that's our combinations that you can use to the back fist. Again, you you may be able to knock a person down the first time, but usually it doesn't happen. Okay? Further down.